I think I finally got all these wires figured out. Uh, I had the cigarette lighter plugged into the clock. This one is the clock plug in. Cigarette lighter plug in is the same exact kind of plug. It has a big black and a big white with a black line, a red with a yellow line, and a red with a green line. And this is a cigarette lighter, so this one plugs in here. I'll plug that in with two hands. Anyway, on the same, coming out of the same bundle as the cigarette lighter is this other plug with like six wires in it. And that is for the rear window wiper washer switch. I don't have one, so I'm not going to use it. This one is the light that goes in the back of it. It comes up in here somewhere and connects in here. I'll do that later. I have a couple of loose hot wires here. I have them insulated. Uh, and over here on the passenger side, I have this wire. This goes to the door. It goes to the side mirror. I think it comes out this hole right here. So that's the mirror control wire. It'll go into the door and the speaker wire here. And then there's this one. It also goes into the frame here. And it goes up to the dome light up there. Right there's the plug-in for it. And the plug in for the AC up there. I don't have AC, so I don't need that. Alright, let's see if I can screw this radio in. I'm using these screws. I don't remember which ones were originally in it, but these ones fit pretty good. About three quarters of an inch long. Alright, next is this thing. It has uh, two screws that go on with the uh, heater control. And then one screw goes at an upward angle in the ashtray. The clip slot in the bottom right there and right there. One of my clips is broken off, so I only have one right under the cigarette lighter. There we go. I think I'll go ahead and put those three screws in. I can't figure out where this little light goes. The wire colors on the schematic say it's an ashtray light, but I can find no way to connect it to anything. For right now, I'm just going to leave that tucked back up in there and then put my ashtray in. Alright, next thing is I want to this thing up. That little light fits into that hole right there. Just poke that little light in there and twist it a little bit. This is the air conditioning switch. I took the air conditioning out of this car, but I left these two wires sticking out here because uh, if I need it for something, I can use that as a on-off switch just in case I think of something to use it for. go slide right in there clip in place and I need to find some knobs for the switches here okay there we go there we go Hmm, that one's not going all the way over. Should be okay. Alright, so I got that center console in. Now I'm going to put my instrument cluster in. I checked all of the lights on the back and made sure they all worked with the 12-volt battery. And this wire goes in and hangs down. A couple of mounting brackets. There's two plugs that go in the two sockets on the back here. 
and then the speedometer cable. All those need to be hooked up before it goes all the way in. Yeah, those pop right in. This other one's a little shorter. There we go. Speed armor cable. Speed armor cable. Looks like that's the wrong size. It's too small to fit over that. I didn't even consider that before. I picked this one because it didn't have a broken clip on the end. So I guess there are two different sizes of ends and I put the wrong one in. I need that size. Alright, I got my cable out easy enough without taking the dashboard out. There's all my other three cables I have. I think that this one is the one that was originally in the car and then I have those two but they're both short cables probably has to do with uh, the standard or automatic transmission but here's my dilemma is the cable I just took out I don't have another cable for this one and that cable is three inches longer than the one than the cable casing that I had in there I guess they had a variety of lengths of speedometer cables. Well, here's my solution. I cut a piece of old speedometer cable, three inches, and cut this cable, and then spliced it inside with some uh, fuel vapor hose. Just, just fits right over that speedometer cable. I think that'll work. See if I can put it in. Okay, I've got my new modified speedometer cable back in. Right there, i got to use two hands on so it. goes. Okay, i got that plugged in. Carefully slide this all in place. There's two screws on each side of the instrument cluster here. I'm pretty sure there are these little short pointy screws. Not positive, but that's what I'm putting in there. They seem to be working. Next is this bezel thing that goes around the instrument. It has two screws inside on top and two screws on the bottom. I'll probably use the same kind of screws. But that just slides right in like so. You know, it's got a two grooves up here with the snap in place like that there we go all right and now I'll just put those four screws in all right those are screwed in looks good last thing is uh, this wire red white and blue coming down here that plugs into this connection to the little switch right up above the speaker behind right here so anyway just plug these two together Next is the switches here, windshield wipers and turn signals and headlights and stuff. Uh, I left the screws in here, which is nice. There's just four screws that hold that in. Look like that. All four are the same. They're all the same. This plug in plugs in right there. I'll pull that down and use two hands to plug those together. All right, those went together and snapped in place. Tuck these wires back up inside here somewhere. Screw those four screws in, two on top and two on the bottom. Next, I'll put these parts on. Just trim. Okay, I need to get the top in. These are the correct four screws for that piece of trim. It has small alignment pins on it that are not aligning for me. Okay, I just had to wiggle it around a minute and get, uh, get the wires out of the way and snap it together and then screwed it together. I don't know what this uh, gray is on this side, but all of my spare ones have the same thing, and this is like the 
best one. So, all right, that's in.